Oh, hi, you guys. I Masu, everybody. I have no idea if I said that right. Fun fact I used to actually teach myself how to speak Japanese. So that was, I'm pretty sure, good morning in Japanese, as uh, Francis suggested on my previous vlog. So if you guys want to be like shouted out in my next one, make sure you suggest what language you want me to say good morning in my next vlog. But yeah, today. I, well, I have cleaned my whole house with Matt, right? I'm gonna show you guys a little overview of the living room right now because it's never been this tidy. <laughs> so, there's like a few things on the sofa now because we're just about to leave, but from the left, this is what it looks like. It's so tidy. If you guys have seen my previous vlogs, you would have known that there was like a bunch of stuff over here um, and we completely cleared that. We cleared all of the boxes that were just kind of like living under the table and now it's just like so nice and so like spacious and cozy. I did this thing yesterday. Um, so I got this yesterday from Sainsbury's. If you guys have watched my previous vlog, you will know that already and I kind of created like this little corner over here which I really like. I love these little lights that I got from my friend so I just popped them on here with some candles. This one is actually from Primark and this one here is from Ikea so I really like that and then also I've got my hot cocoa and cream candle from Bath and Body Works which I absolutely love and it's kind of placed in this little bell jar thing. So yeah, that's my little corner. I'm so proud of this little corner. Like, I still got to sort out my windowsill because I've just got such like miscellaneous random things on here. So that's definitely the next step. I got to sort that out. But so far, everything is looking pretty good. I'm happy with how the place looks. Now it's just all about keeping it like this which will be the hard part. So this morning, me and Matt are just heading off to get some lunch. So we thought we'd have some Subway, you know, treat ourselves because we've been like quite healthy recently. We've been having like sandwiches, like really healthy sandwiches every morning. So we just thought, okay, we're just going to have a sub because we haven't had one in a while. So that's what we're going to do right now. By the way, my lashes, they're still going strong from the other day when I got them done. Like this is what they look like. I've had a few fall out, but there's not many that have fallen out really. They still look really full, so I'm happy. I really hope that they're gonna last me for when I go to Ibiza, because I'm going to Ibiza literally next week, which is, oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Literally on Wednesday next week I'm leaving, and I'm going with a bunch of like other YouTubers, because we're going with a brand. I can't tell you what brand it is yet, because I don't really know myself. It's kind of a secret at the moment, so we know very little, but we just know that we're going to Ibiza with a brand, and that's all we know. So I'm really, really excited. I can't wait for those vlogs. Gonna take you guys along with me, of course. And yeah, you're gonna see like a bunch of familiar faces from my management, like Layla, Sabrina, and you know, that lot. So I'm excited. So guys, we are now in the car, and look what I did to myself by accident. Can you see? That is... That is a wound. So basically, I was cleaning up upstairs in my filming room and there's like a rug on the floor and I just thought, wow, there's so much like, like, you know, crap on it basically. So I just like put it out the window and just like shook it to get rid of all the like dirt and stuff. And then I caught my hand on the window, like on the right on the corner, look. Ah, oh, I bet that stinks. Yeah, it does. By the way, if you're wondering why I'm always in the passenger seat, <laughs> it's because I'm wearing these heels right now and I don't think I should drive in heels because I'm not very good at driving in heels and plus Matt enjoys driving in this car so that's why that's why he's driving. So guys, we have made it to Subway, so I got my usual lettuce, sweet corn and southwest sauce with some salsa sauce inside as well. Oh, so good. We have actually decided that we're going to go to Milton Keynes to go to Danone because we actually have to pick up a present for Matt's mom for her birthday and we still haven't got one, so we have to go get one today and also I want to get some things for the house, like I want to get like this letter holder because whenever we get letters, Matt just puts it on the windowsill by the door and it annoys me so much. So we're just gonna get a, like a little letter box thing. And we also wanna get some more storage for the house because we literally have like no storage space anywhere. So Matt is thinking of getting like a little chest, 
like um i don't even know what it's called it's kind of like a bench slash chest so when you open it up it's got storage inside um but he kind of wants to like quilt the top of the of the chest to make it look like it's a seat but then we'll also be able to like put like pillows in there and stuff because at the moment whenever we go in well whenever we go to sleep we actually have to take off all the pillows and just put it on the floor because we have nowhere else to put it so it'd be nice to have like a little bit of storage where we can put down all the pillows and like the extra duvet sets and all that kind of stuff so we have made it to Denelm and we've picked up some towels because we actually don't have any towels well those I've got those the towels yeah they're quite nice yeah but the thing is we want to get oh, yeah. color <laughs> they're gray <laughs> so is our bathroom very gray so guys we have done a little bit of shopping at Denalm and we have now made it to P&Q it's so windy but um, we're gonna buy some other things for the garden because we've got to get some what ice cream oh I want some um, yeah, we're gonna get some soil and stuff for that little planter pot that we have in our garden. So yeah, it's so dark. So guys, I'm actually picking out some flowers for our little garden bed. Look how pretty these ones are. Oh, these are so cute. They all like come at like two pounds or three pounds, which is so affordable. Like, didn't even realize how cheap these flowers were. Cause they look like so much more expensive. These are really pretty. So these are the flowers that I picked up. So we've got, well, I'm not gonna like say any of the names, but this is what these are gonna look like when they, when they grow. Um, and then we got these ones. That one's really cool because it says Harley Quinn on it. <laughs> and then we've got some lilies and these like little trees which are gonna grow to be like really big. And then we got some of these ones here which are gonna look like that. And then this last one, it, it may not look like much, but it's gonna look like this, which I absolutely love these flowers. They're so pretty. These are the flowers that we have purchased. I'm obviously gonna show you guys once we get home and we actually plant them, but I'm so happy with this one and this one. They're so pretty. And then I actually also got this one here, which is kind of dead, but I know I can revive it. And this was actually um, reduced to two pounds from 18 pounds. And like, it's such a beautiful color. Like it's an orchid and it's just so vibrant blue and I absolutely loved it so I had to get it. And I'm really hoping I can revive it because it is kind of dead, but we will see. So we have just gotten back home and I have actually received a parcel. So let's see what it is. I have a feeling it's some nail polishes because it's kind of like rattling about a little bit. So, ugh. These are always so hard to open. So inside, let's have a little look. Wow, see, I'm so good. I knew it was nail polishes. These are the new Rimmel Super Gel nail polishes. These look pretty neat. Oh, I'm gonna love this color. This is so pretty. By the way, guys, I've had another parcel from ASOS just come through the door and look what came. So recently I've been like obsessed with Tommy Hilfiger. So as soon as I saw this on ASOS, I was like, I love this because it's like pastel pink. They have this in all kinds of colors. They have like a light blue, light green, and I think a light yellow, but obviously I love pink. So I had to get it. It's basically just like a denim jacket and it has like a little, Tommy Hilfiger logo on the like on the bottom as well but the main thing is the back like I love jackets that have like a cool print on the back so yeah I'm gonna show you guys what it looks like on um this was kind of pricey it's like 150 pounds so it's not the cheapest but I think it's really cute oh my god I love that Sorry guys, my camera just died, but this is what the coat looks like on. I think it's so cute. Look at the back. It's adorable. I absolutely love it. And I also got some jeans. Now, I've never tried like Tommy Hilfiger jeans of any kind. So I don't know how these are going to fit me, but they are high-waisted. So I'm going to quickly show you them as well. And guess what? They are matching. They're matching pale pink and they are so cute. Oh, I really do hope that they fit me. I'm gonna try them on in a little bit, but this is basically what they look like. So it's kind of like a little two piece matching set. Now, I'm not really the type of person to wear like matching anything. So this is gonna be a first. I really hope I can pull it off. I don't know if I will be able to, but we'll see. So now that we're back, we're actually gonna work on the garden a little bit. The weather is so bad right now it's like raining it's on and off raining and it's just really gloomy but we've actually got matt's dad to help us a little bit so he's gonna help us like dig up the whole like what's it called the plant pot thing i guess um and then we're gonna put all the flowers in and the soil and i'm so excited so let's go so guys we have done the soil we have 
taken out all the weeds and we are now ready to plant all the flowers so these are all the different types that we got some are gonna last just for the summer but some of them are gonna like grow back every year like this one here and probably that one there so yeah they look so cute i can't wait for them to actually like grow out because at the moment it looks kind of empty so here are all the flowers planted we also put some bark over the top to kind of make the soil look a little bit nicer but yay it's finally finished it looks so much better doesn't it i think it looks pretty good and when they actually like grow they're going to like spread a little bit so it's not just going to be like plotted around like it is now i think my favorite one is this one and the roses the roses are so pretty they're like this purple color so nice and these ones are really cool too <laughs> yeah i know there's only one but they're really nice more. yeah all of these will like bloom and blossom will look really pretty oh and these ones are really weird they kind of look like um i don't know you get like broccoli that is this shape too and it's really weird broccoli. no you do you get weird broccoli that that's shaped, but that's like fancy broccoli. So guys, it's a little bit later now and we have actually just had our dinner. We just had curry from the like local takeaway, which was so good. And Sky has been currently trying to eat these poppadoms. Well, what's left over from them? Um, me and Matt have now decided that we're gonna go and go for, <clears throat> my voice. Me and Matt are gonna go for a bike ride now. So I'll speak to you guys when I come back because there's no point in me taking you because it's literally pitch black outside so you guys won't be able to see anything so we're just gonna cycle around you know do our like daily cycle because we haven't actually been cycling for the past two days because we were just like so busy with everything and yeah i'm like praying to god that my bum will not be hurting from the seat because the seats that we have at the moment are actually really uncomfortable and i actually feel like i have bruises like legit bruises on my bum because of the seat so hopefully they kind of have healed in those two past two days that we haven't been cycling and hopefully it won't hurt so let's go i'm back home now and i am just about to get ready for bed so i thought i would finish the vlog here whilst i'm like still dressed and you know um, so yeah, basically, I hope you guys really enjoyed today's vlog. I mean, I didn't really get up too much, but I hope it was, like, enjoyable to watch anyways. I am gonna see you guys tomorrow, so I'm gonna finish the vlog, and thank you so much for watching. Night, guys!